Apart from people, businesses too are jittery about the Brexit future, according to accountancy firm KPMG. British firms are praying for an extension to Article 50 rather than face a no-deal Brexit. Low business confidence and diverted investment are hitting firms very hard. The Confederation of British Industry said the private sector was stuck in neutral. Its survey of firms across the distribution, manufacturing and service sectors showed zero growth in aggregate in the last quarter of 2018. And firms reported growth prospects were at their weakest for almost six years. Other research shows the number of acquisitions of UK companies by foreign buyers is falling 11% year on year. There's a risk Britain could suffer significant economic harm when the country leaves the EU in two months. Richard Bestick reports from London. Plane makers Airbus. Just one company in Britain claiming a no-deal Brexit could be, quote, very harmful to its UK operations. The world's second largest aerospace group directly employs 14,000 people in Britain. Jobs the company says could be at risk if it were to shift operations to the European mainland. So finding an alternative to a no-deal Brexit is the challenge facing UK Prime Minister Theresa May. Although finding a compromise and agreement among the feuding factions here has proved desperately elusive. Now, with just two months to go, some MPs genuinely fear time has run out and Tuesday will ask Parliament to stop the clock on Brexit. The reason that we're in this situation is because we've had continued delays from the Prime Minister continually kicking the can down the road. And the problem is we're still not really seeing any progress. So I hope that this does put pressure on the Prime Minister to sort things out by the end of February. But if we get to that point, she should be ruling out no deal. Perhaps inevitably, a senior cabinet minister, Andrea Leadsome, has broken cover to say delaying Brexit would be just a blocking mechanism. According to the Bank of England and the UK Treasury, among others, the potential economic damage from No Deal would be significant. They're talking of six-day delays at Britain's ports, hitting the import of foods and medicines, the risk of a catastrophic recession. And from one British newspaper, Brexit officials openly discussing martial law in Britain and calling in the army in the event of riots. Whatever the ultimate reality, the stakes in this week's parliamentary showdown appear to have limited political precedent. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.